Okay, uh, this video is going to demonstrate how to properly uh, install and uh, operate the Roland uh, GR55 uh, drivers and especially the librarian. Uh, I know there's, there's really not a lot of information out there on the proper use of, of the librarian and how you can move files uh, back and forth from uh, websites and forums uh, from uh, various places on the internet back over to your your GR55 pedal so that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to get started is you're going to need uh, one of these uh, USB printer type connections and that's what goes into the back of the GR55 pedal itself so we're going to hook that up and power the unit on okay now, in order to get started on this process, if you are basically starting from scratch, there's going to be uh, a few programs that you're going to need to install. Uh, the first of which is the, uh, the driver for this unit. So I basically have uh, my internet browser on the Roland support page, <clears throat> and we would just uh, type GR55, and it brings us up here. And then by clicking on the, the pedal link, <clears throat> you'll see all the different downloads that are available uh, for this unit. So you will, if you have not done so already, you'll need to update your system itself, which is a completely separate process. You can find all the directions uh, and everything on Roland's website to do that here. It's basically a thumb drive update that you can accomplish just within the pedal itself. You will also need to install the USB driver uh, for your corresponding operating system. So if you're using uh, Windows 7, then you'd want to grab this update here. If you're using Vista, and so on and so forth. So you grab the update. You need to perform that operation before you can connect your GR55 to your PC. Okay, then once you have that done, then you'll also want to install the GR55 librarian for Windows or your uh, Mac, whichever, whichever one you're using, just simply by following the on-screen instructions. So those are the three main things that you have to do first. Update your GR55 pedal to uh, the latest 1.5 driver, uh, and you need to do the USB driver for Windows, and the GR55 librarian for either Windows or Mac, whichever one applies to you. So once you have those three done, then you're ready to uh, start moving patches around. All right, I have the librarian ready to launch, so we'll click on my desktop icon. Okay, and the first time that you open the GR55, you'll notice you'll get this small window here in the corner. And it's basically a default window as if you had no patches. Okay, so the first time you connect, you need to go into Setup tool at the top, and then click on Setup MIDI devices. This will bring up another pop-up window, and the first time you hook it up, this is going to say none. So it's going to look just like that the first time you turn it on. You need to change this to the GR55, and then you're ready to go. Okay, from there, now we are able to uh, read what is on our pedal board. So I'm going to click Read All, and it says, Are you sure you want to load the data from the GR55? We'll click OK. OK, as you can see, the, uh, the librarian is now pulling in all of my user patches over to the computer. And once these files are completely uh, uh, transferred over to the computer, then it will allow us to manipulate uh, from the computer screen rather than having to do a, a write function on, on the pedal itself. So we have roughly, um, I think, 70-some uh, patches here, uh, maybe more. I kind of lost track, but uh, so that's what it's doing now is it's dragging in all of my user patches into the librarian.
Okay, now that that function is complete, you'll notice this window in the top left corner of your librarian is now filled with all of your patches from your GR55. So if we we can drag that out to expand it and there you'll see a list of by name exactly how you have them saved into the pedal all the way down through patch 99 okay so now that we have all of our uh, user patches moved into the, li the librarian we're going to go out on the internet and find some patches that are readily available uh, you can do that by either going straight to the official Roland GR55 artist patch page uh, or you can also go to the V Guitar forum and there are other users that will upload patches there uh, they're categorized pretty well so you can navigate pretty easily uh, but just for simplicity here we'll go to the official site uh, you can see you've got Eric Johnson slash Steve Stevens Jeff Loomis, Gary Willis, Robert Marcello, patches available, plus an additional uh, kind of a generic patch bank over here on the right hand side of the screen which gives you somewhere around uh, 30 or 40 kind of random uh, uh, patches for you to use. Uh, so let's, let's just do an example here. We'll start with uh, Eric Johnson and simply click on the download patch link and we'll save that file. Uh, we're just going to put it right in our documents folder and it does come in as a zip file so before you can do anything in the librarian you will need to uh, go to your uh, your uh, Windows Explorer find the file that you have downloaded there's our zip file we'll go ahead and open that and there you will see uh, a patch with an icon right there Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll copy that out and I'll just paste it back here in the main directory for us to use. Okay, so now that it's in our, in our uh, Windows Explorer uh, unzipped, it's now ready to go. Okay, so now that we have the Eric Johnson patch uh, unzipped and in our uh, computer's uh, Explorer ready to go, the next step is to go back to your librarian program and now we're going to simply open the file so you do that uh, just like any other you know basic program go to your your folder open and then look for wherever it is you have saved your uh, file to and there's our unzipped basically our extracted Eric Johnson uh, patch so we will open that okay now you see we have a second window that has appeared and what that is is all those patches so the Eric Johnson folder gave us uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's twelve files uh, I believe let's see we got tone one through six I don't think those are anything uh, I think the 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 patches really start here three one through four three so EJ clean would be your first would be your first patch here uh, so now that you have two windows opened up, you can move them around and uh, get them where you can work with them. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is copy from this window right here and basically paste it in this window here because this window here represents what is on our pedal board. Uh, so simply clicking that once to highlight. So if we're going to move one row at a time, we could do that or we could you know hold the shift key down and then click the entire row uh, either way uh, just depends on how many of these you want now once you have the selected patches over here highlighted uh, simply go up to the toolbar in the librarian <clears throat> and there is a, a standard copy button up here so you'll click that so now all these files over here are copied highlight the window for the destination which is your your existing pedal click on the row where you want them to go and then you have a couple of options up here at the top you can either insert it or you can replace it replacing it would just override anything in these slots uh, so we're just going to insert and boom there you have it all of your Eric Johnson patches that you have downloaded are now installed over here in your uh, your user bank 
and the librarian. Now, once you have this uh, lineup exactly how you want it, in order to transfer this new lineup back to your pedal, of course, we're still connected through the USB cable uh, from our computer to our pedal board. You go up here to the right section. Now, remember when we started, we, we, we hit the read. We read uh, or read all, and that brought our original patches in. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write. So basically every change you made in this side will now write. So we're going to just hit selected because uh, if we write all of them, it'll take several minutes and it'll write basically all, uh, you know, 180 of these patches. So we're going to hit write, selected, and then it'll ask you if you want to proceed. And there you go. So now we have all of our new Eric Johnson patches transferred uh, successfully over to the GR55. Now there's one more uh, helpful feature that the librarian uh, can help you do and that is basically arrange your entire lineup uh, here in in this program as opposed to kind of the, the tedious way of of writing and over placing or uh, overriding and, and placing on top of one another within the pedal. So in order to do that uh, simply come up here to file and hit duplicate and then a new window appears with a with basically an exact clone of your original pedal lineup and from here you can uh, click one, click all, rearrange them, make changes here, and do the same thing that we did before where you would simply hit copy and then insert or replace over here. So just kind of another way to move, if you're going to make wholesale changes to your patch lineup, then that would be the most efficient way to do it rather than, uh, rather than doing it from within the, um, from within the pedal itself. Uh, as you know, there's only one way to do it there which is just to overwrite. So uh, there you have it, that's the librarian. Now what we'll do is just confirm that the new Eric Johnson patches uh, that we installed are actually uh, in. Okay, so just to confirm, uh, here is the, uh, the last patch that I used. And remember, the, the very first uh, Eric Johnson patch went into 67.3. So by clicking uh, to the next patch, there you go. They start there. Uh, you can check out the other patches here. We'll go up to 68. And there we have the rest of those Eric Johnson patches. So just to confirm uh, that we have transferred them properly, uh, they are now there. Um, okay, so basically just to summarize, you first need to get a USB cable that is a uh, large, you know, one of the square tip. I'm not sure what the proper name is, but just remember it's one that uh, usually uh, installs with a with a printer that type of cable hook this to the to your computer and then you will need to do three things you will need to uh, download or update your GR55 with the current patch which is explained on the Roland website secondly you'll need to download the USB driver for your Windows operating system off the Roland website and then third you'll need to get the librarian installed so once you have all three of those uh, you should be able to uh, start moving files rather easily. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line or a comment below, and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. Thanks so much. <laughs> Why is this dog chasing us? <laughs>